here, baby. All right, we'll take that little clip clip. PPH, PPSH, popping up, baby. Popping up, baby. Oh my god. Wow. We just, uh, we absolutely wrecked those kids right there. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys, we are going to be running with the number one PPSH class up in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. This thing absolutely slaps. Honestly though, it's not a gun that I would use if you're a beginner player because it does have quite a bit of recoil on it. But hey, if you guys can control recoil, this gun is one of the guns to use. Before we show you guys the class up, if you guys could do me a huge solid, make sure you guys drop a like on this video right now. Comment down below. And hey, if you guys are brand new to the page and want to see more content like this, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as well. All right, guys, let's slide right into the class setup now. So our first attachment is going to be the Groove Suppressor, guys. It's going to keep us off the radar, obviously. And then on top of that, it's also going to give us a vertical recoil control increased by 7%, which is massive. We will lose a little bit of effective damage range, but we will gain that back with the very next attachment. All right, so moving on to the next attachment, we got the Task Force Barrel. It's going to increase our damage by 7%, our effective damage range by 50%, and bullet velocity by 75%. All massive gains for the PPSH or any SMG in general. And as you guys can see here on screen our damage is about 30 damage per shot which means it's gonna be about five kill shot uh five shot kill my bad uh right away from full health so that's not too bad for an smg especially one with a high fire rate like the ppsh and on top of that we're gonna keep our damage for about 19 meters and our bullet velocity is gonna be giving us about 350 meters per second travel speed which is extremely good for an smg obviously though i would not use this thing for range but hey up close and personal this thing's gonna absolutely fry all right so moving on to the spetsnaz grip here that's gonna give us an eight percent increase in vertical recoil control and a 22 percent increase in horizontal recoil control you're gonna need this if you guys are running the task force barrel because this thing has quite a bit of recoil so just a heads up this is not a beginner class if you guys are new to call of duty i'd probably run something a little bit more friendly but if you guys have a pretty good handle on recoil control already this class setup is going to do really well for you all right so moving on to the next attachment that's going to be the vdv 50 round fast mag so as you guys can see on screen here it does bring our ads speed down by a little bit but we'll get into that a little bit later with the next attachment and then on top of that the bonuses on this thing though is the magazine ammo capacity is going to go up to 50 rounds per mag our reload quickness is going to take about 1.3 seconds to reload which is extremely quick our max starting ammo counts going to be 150 and we are going to be able to hold up to 300 rounds so if you guys have scavenger or an assault pack on you guys are going to be able to hold up a lot of rounds on your gun without actually having to worry about running out of ammo all right for our last attachment we got the grew elastic wrap guys you can increase our ads speed by uh 30 percent which is massive guys and on top of that uh we're also going to have no flinch pretty much and we're also going to be able to drop shot while adsing which is really good for aggressive players unfortunately we will lose a little bit of sprint to fire time and shoot movement speed but i didn't really notice it all that much in game it's only a minus 15 and minus 10 percent decrease really not a huge decrease they're still moving around six miles per hour which is extremely good all right guys so this is the class set that <clears throat> all right so that's the class set that we use in today's video to absolutely pop off you're gonna see in today's gameplay with a nuke and over 100 kills as well honestly the ppsh is still one of the better weapons to use in cold war a very fun weapon to use guys very very fun weapon to use on top of that you guys can also feed all right by this point i'm pretty sure you guys want to check out the gameplay so let's uh let's slide on over to that gameplay i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out deuces Is there anybody up here? Nope. She's relatively surprised by that. Dude, I hate when people literally lay down and I guarantee you he will do it all match. Cause he's playing tactical. <laughs> yeah, slow start here. It's a little bit of a slow start. Told you, you're still here. Still gonna play like a like a little girl. Dude, what? 
How? How? Okay. But he's eating. Told you. He'll continue to lay down. That's the type of place that those kind of kids play. They just tend to play like that because they don't they don't know how to use the controller very well. Nice shot, Booger. Told oh, ya. Yeah. Once again, laying down. Well, I'm good at predicting that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quit playing COD. I'm gonna become a full-time future teller. Let's try to get it here. Ooh, don't like that. Oh, we got the nuke, baby. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's call this bad puppy in real quick. That's such a bad toss by me. I can't believe I just made that bad of a toss. <laughs> Enjoy that, fellas. Enjoy that. Cover me, taking the objective. All locations locked down. Dig in and hold them. Half time. Ooh, we got it right before halftime, baby. What we like to see. I I didn't know if I was gonna get the C4 off in time. I knew he was coming up because he had tried to shoot me from the ground. Let's get a baby. Switching rally points. We're on our way to another war machine. We got the Vancia and the uh, Thresher here. And we're winning the match. All W's, baby. All W's.
You've got a dog, bro. Ha. I don't even know how that stuck me. I'm gonna be straightforward with you guys. Straight honest, I have no idea how that actually stuck me. Bro, nice bro, my man. You gotta move. You're, that's probably the reason why you got nuked, brother. That's probably the reason, my man. <laughs> this thing is not the best at like ranges, but like up close and personal, it's one of the best guns I've used, I think, in this game. So that range, it just it struggles because of the recoil. It's got a weird recoil pattern. I'm almost willing to bet that dude is sitting back here somewhere. No, maybe not. Whoa, what the? Dude, what the heck happened? Like, I could have ran into a wall. Dude, this juice world, the ju new world, nice world. This dude is, he's straight annoying. My boy is just like, he pre-aims everything and just lays down, but it's all good. I mean, he already got nuked, so. That's him right there. He's got the LMG. Dude, I, I don't understand how how is that fun to play like that? Like I, I seriously want to know can someone in the comments answer that for me? Is it fun to play like that? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I just lost bullet right there, but Losing Bravo Location secure maintain current posture Always laying down, brother. Always laying down. You gotta do better, my man. Caught him again. Laying down. <laughs> Hey, 110 kills. That second half was a lot slower, that's for sure. This dude right here, though, bro. This dude's annoying. 